the eagle and the fox. So once upon a time, there was an eagle and a fox, and they were good friends. In fact, they were such good friends that they decided to live together. In the forest, there was a big tree. And at the top of the tree, the eagle made her nest. Uh, a nest is a place where birds live. Uh, the birds take a lot of sticks and they make a nest and then they can lay their eggs in the nest. Now, uh, the fox couldn't live in the nest. Foxes can't fly. So the fox couldn't get up in the tree, of course. Uh, but the fox made her home at the bottom of the tree. At the bottom of the tree, there was a thicket. Uh, thicket is a place where there's lots of small bushes and plants close together. Uh, so it's a very kind of safe place for animals to make their homes. It's, it's a good place to hide. So the fox kind of dug a hole in the thicket and the fox's home was there and the eagle's home was in the nest above the tree, uh, in the top of the tree. And they each had three children. Uh, the eagle had three babies, and the fox had three babies. Now, uh, in English, a fox baby is called a cub. So the fox had three cubs, and an eagle baby is called an eaglet. So the eagle had three eaglets. Now, at first, everything was fine. There was lots of food in the forest, so both the eagle and the fox had plenty of food to bring home to their babies. But then there was a drought. Now, a drought is a long time without rain. Uh, so there was no rain for a long time. Lots of the plants died. Lots of the other animals went away, and the eagle and the fox couldn't find any food. And they began to get worried about their babies. Would they have enough food for their babies? So, one day, the fox decided to go out far away to look for food. Now, that meant leaving its babies all alone. But the fox wasn't worried because the eagle was there and the eagle and the fox were good friends. But actually, the eagle wasn't a good friend because the eagle came down and took one of the fox's babies one of the fox cubs and took it up to its nest and killed it and gave it to its children as food. So the baby eaglets ate the fox cub. Now the fox came back and saw what had happened. And the fox was very upset. Obviously, the fox was sad because it lost its baby. But the fox was also very angry. Oh, it was so angry. But there was nothing the fox could do. Uh, the fox wanted to hurt the eagle, but the eagle's nest was high up in the tree. And the fox couldn't fly. So, how could the fox get up to the nest? It couldn't. So the fox just had to sit down and look at the eagle's nest, but there was nothing it could do. A few days later, 
the eagle and the fox were still hungry. They, they, they were still having trouble getting food for their children. And then the eagle, because it was high in the tree and could see many things, saw some humans cooking meat on a fire. So the humans had a big fire and in the middle of the fire they were cooking the meat. And the eagle thought, ah, I will take their meat. So the eagle flew down and grabbed the meat before the humans could do anything. And the eagle took the meat up to its nest. But the eagle didn't notice. When the eagle took the meat from the fire, there was a small bit of fire still on the meat. The eagle didn't see this, but just a small bit of fire. And when the eagle put the meat in the nest, the nest, of course, was made of sticks and leaves and dry wood. And the nest, the fire, spread very quickly around the nest. And before the eagle could do anything, its children were burned. Uh, burned means to uh, die. Well, burned means to be hurt by the fire. They were hurt, they were burned by the fire, and they died. And they fell down to the ground where the fox was. The fox was on the ground. And so, at last, the fox had his revenge. Sorry, had her revenge. It was a mother fox. The fox had her revenge. The fox ate the baby eagles, and the eagle could do nothing but watch. The moral of the story is, if you do bad things to other people, then bad things will happen to you. Yeah, what do you think? Do you agree with that moral? I'm going to be honest, I don't agree with that moral. I mean, that's the moral from the story, and the story is very old, but I don't think I agree with it. I think sometimes good things happen to bad people, and bad things happen to good people, and there's no reason. It's just life is unfair and unpredictable. But that's my opinion. The moral is if you do bad things to other people, bad things will happen to you. And I think some people believe this. What do you think?